Welcome to the 18th episode of the Fourth Inning Podcast, the podcast where four friends talk about their well-known for sports. My name is Josh, and today I'm joined by my good friends Tristan, Blake, and Matt. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at Fourth Inning Pod. And let's jump right into it. I'm going to let Matt give you guys a breakdown of some of the top performances and wins in sports from the past week. All right. Thank you, Josh. I'm going to hop right into it with some NFL action. What is it? Week 12? Week 11? Week 11 was last week. Week 11 was last week. Okay, you're right. And I'll start with the AFC. The Steelers are running the show at 10 and 0, undefeated still. And yeah, they're, they're they're the team to beat. Yeah, they're playing oh, yeah. the Ravens this week. It's supposed to be on Thanksgiving night, but it got moved to Sunday. It's going to be a pretty good game to watch. The Kansas Chiefs are keeping up though at 9 and 1. They've really turned into a Kansas one- C- Kansas City Chiefs. You what said, did you, you say? You said Kansas. Uh, well, the Kansas Chiefs. <laughs> that, that, that just didn't flow. Like, can, he said Kansas happen. Chiefs. Like, huh, the Kansas, Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs. <laughs> and with some more frustrating news in the AFC, Joe Burrow suffered oh, a yes. terrible injury. Frustrating. Awful. Have some sympathy. No, it was frustrating. It was just. Oh well, yeah, it's frustrating. It was. It was horrific. I'm sure, I'm sure every, it's a little bit worse for him than it was yeah, for us. Every every bad adge- adjective that you could say. He That's tore weird. his ACL and MCL. He's out for the year. And I believe Brandon Allen is the new starting quarterback for the Bengals. Mm, wow. What what an offense that's going to be. Yeah, let's just. Who, and who's going to be in the backfield? Samaj P. Ryan. Samaj P. Ryan. <laughs> My boy Samaj. Samaj <laughs> P. Ryan. Hey, li- Samaj, if you're listening, wire. Love, to love to have you on the show. We would you. love to have you, Mr. P. Ryan, on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move on to the NFC now. Got to keep it going. The uh, New Orleans Saints keeping New control Orleans of Saints. the NFC at eight and three. That's not good. It's not bad. Well, it's, yeah, yeah. It's just it's are, a big difference. It gets the job. They are they are closely. The AFC is, yeah. uh, is is is. They are closely better. followed by the seven and three Rams, Seahawks, and Packers. I know. I thought the Seahawks. They're <laughs> the Samaj <laughs> JP ride. <right? laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry for that. Yeah, I think <laughs> these teams are really coming in coming into their own. Let's not forget about the Buccaneers, who are seven and four, and the Ooh. the Cardinals. I know who Josh loves. The Cardinals? Yes. I'm a, I'm, Cardinals. A, I'm a huge Cardinals fan I'm, this year. I like them. They're for, fan, for fantasy reasons. Yeah, for fantasy yeah. reasons. <laughs> to wrap up the NFL part, uh, the oh. NFC East. Oh, boy. Good. Yeah, the Eagles oh boy. are still, Good they're, they're still, they're still leading that division at 3-6-1. and one. I believe the tie with the Bengals is the only reason from keeping every single team in that division tied. Am I right? Yes. yes, they're all three and seven. And it's, it's, the Bengals, sad, the Bengals that, it's sad they're going to host a playoff game. Yeah, the Bengals gonna, would oh still be a, a competitor to win that yeah. division if they were. <laughs> that's, in, which that's is, just is ridiculous. All, ultra embarrassing. But <laughs> I'll move. I'll move on. I'll move on now to to college football, which I think oh this boy. is the first week I've gone over it. The first college football playoff rankings came out this week, and it's going to go number one Alabama, number two Notre Dame. Number three, Clemson, and number four, Ohio State. Yeah, pretty much the unanimous top four. Pretty yeah, much, right? I can't imagine. Your two, your two what? favorite teams are on here. How are you feeling? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's good. It's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. Some people were shocked to see Clemson at three, and Ohio State at including four, including me. Hey, but hey, I, I was I, I was shocked think to see BYU at fourteen. That that frustrated me. Yeah. I am yeah. very upset. If you go nine and zero, regardless of who you play, I think you should be at least. I don't know, maybe top ten. Yeah. Fourteen's real. Top I, ten. Four, I yeah. I fourteen's tough. My, yeah, that is my bandwagon not. team this year is the UC Bearcats. Oh, I really hope they make the playoffs. I, I have a few oh. bandwagon teams this year. I got Marshall, BYU. Who else is there? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm Coastal uh, Carolina. Coastal yeah, Carolina. Coast- Mar- oh, I said Marshall already. Yeah. yeah. Let's see who else. Hey, Florida. Oh, Florida. Big, big Florida <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like Florida too. <laughs> uh, I, this is the one week I don't care if the Kentucky Wildcats oh, lose I, I agree. to Florida. I agree. Because that means Florida will have a one-way ticket to the SEC championship. They yeah. beat Georgia, right? They did. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. They did beat so they, they, Georgia. Georgia still is in the top ten with two. Well, yeah. Just, which and Oklahoma at eleven. Oklahoma at eleven is just terrible. That, yeah, I just hate. I hate that. I don't, like, I don't like that take either. That could be on the hot takes. If that could be on the hot takes. If we did, if we still did hot takes, you will. You let you guys find listening. We'll find out later in this episode. That, you will find you know, out later. There's a surprise. There's some yes. changes. <laughs> there's some changes. Also on Friday, we got North Carolina and Notre Dame. That's yeah, on that's, Friday. Yes, I think. Right really? There. It's on Friday. That's gonna be a big one. Yeah. Wow. That's gonna Blake's be... going to have to miss out on the hill. Yeah. What? But Blake's not coming to the hill on Friday. I, I, will, I will be there. I'll, I'll miss the game. He'll watch it's it on the phone. I, I appreciate that dedication. And last we, we but not that. least, this is for our uh, original viewers. This is a bit of a just a good throwback, kind of. A good way to wrap oh, up this. Yeah. The KBO 
has officially ended their season with their what with it's their playoffs. It's heartbreaking. They have a long season. We can That's agree they season. have the best trophy in all the sports. Yes. And it's not even close. And if you if you remember our uh, rankings of the KBO, you will remember the NC Dinos dominating <laughs> yes. that league. They're tearing it they up. They went wire to wire, winning the championship and the sword. The sword. I yeah, there's got to be, like, there's gotta be a name. I am a big fan of the sword. Yeah, what is the name for I it? mean, I, boy, I think KBO is underrated. I agree. That's, it's been that's good baseball. Watching those guys. It is good at five in the morning. There, there <laughs> is no name for this sword. It's oh. just the championship sword. Is it well, something that it. could, something that could cross over into the MLB? I sure hope uh, so. I it think... is a big sword. It's giant. Oh, it is the? giant. That is a big sword. <laughs> There's not even a name. It just says KBO champion. The sword. Though. I mean the trophy. And if you guys have stuck around long enough to remember the KBO talk we've had, we had in our first like our, five our episodes, fans, we are truly thankful for you and we appreciate it. And with that, that will wrap up this week in sports. I will pass it on to Tristan for Let's Rank It. All right, we are back with Let's Rank It, and today we'll be ranking the top five college basketball teams to look forward to in March. And number five, I'm going to go with Illinois here. Illinois. They're, they're, they're looking. On, they're pretty, on my list. As well. They're in pretty solid. Uh. Don't hate me for this. Some of these names are hard to say. Ayo oh, Dunsunmu. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Ayo Dunsunmu. Kofi Cockburn. Yeah, yeah. Co- yeah. Kofi Cockburn. Kofi Cockburn. Yeah. He's good. There, let's call, let's call there's the best <laughs> one-two combo. Adam Miller, too. Yes. Yeah, I, oh, yeah, probably yeah. the best player. Adam Miller. Adam, Miller. Adam Miller's <laughs> the best player. <laughs> that's not a hard name to say, though. No. Blake, Blake, what you got at five? What if it's Meir? What if it's Meir? I don't know. I don't know. What do you have at five? Blake, what's your at five? I have Iowa. Which yeah. maybe maybe a little low, but that's, it's so. where they it's where they come in in the rankings. So yeah, it's, I guess it fits. It's fitting. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I mean, there's no not much more to say other than Luca Garza, oh. which is probably the uh, player of the year favorite right yeah. now. Yeah, he's, didn't he? Oh no, Obi Toppin won last year. Obi yeah. Toppin won last he was year. Re- he won like eight, which doesn't yeah. make much sense. You would yeah. think that, but yeah, and that's pretty much it. I, I mean, C.J. Frederick's a local. Yes, from local Covington player, Catholic yes. High School. I I. Support him now, even though I did not support him in high school when he was at high school. <laughs> yes, we, CJ we... Frederick, not 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 Cuffcath. No, I don't support yeah. Cuffcath. Okay, all right, yep. All right, who's your five, Matt? Number five, I also have Iowa. I mean, Luca Garza is one of the best players in the country. And if not, dang, me. his eyebrows are big. I mean, <laughs> seriously, it's all about the I don't brows. Have, I don't have much room to speak, but that 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 is an ugly man. <laughs> Wait, get Whoa! Whoa! Hey, come on. on! I'm sorry. I'm you sorry. can't be saying that. I'm so, I'm sorry. Uh, what was it? What did they call him today? Louis. Louis Garza. Yeah, that's what they call him. <laughs> Louis Garza. And also, I- Luca's so hard to say. Iowa has some dangerous shooters. I just see one thing keeping them from higher on this list, and that's their defense. They got beat off ball a lot. They're not the most athletic team, but they're definitely dangerous enough and obviously skilled yeah. enough to make it on my top five. Josh, what's yeah, your what's your fifth? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you'll notice in my list, I, I tend to stay away from those top top tier teams. At, at five, I have West Virginia, who's currently ranked 15th in the nation. Um, like the reason that. I have him in my, on my list is because their coach Bob Huggins. I think he's capable of, uh, of bringing any team I like in, that. into a top co- top caliber um, contender come March. So that's why they're on my list. Even if even it's still a five, still on my list. Press Virginia is always dangerous. Press they're Virginia. Really is Press dangerous. Virginia. <laughs> All right, at number four, I'm going with Iowa. Luca Garza, very very good. But as Matt yes, said, their is. defense will hold them back a little bit. Not yeah. too much, just Not a little much. bit. They're a little slow. Yeah, <laughs> they got some. Not enough athleticism. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder why. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All right, Blake, what you got what for? You for? Uh, at number four, I actually have North Carolina, who is – Really? Yeah, they're mm. – they're, they're, like they, they sucked list. last year. They yeah. sucked last yeah. year. They're, 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 oh, yeah. They were terrible. They're, they're, not, they're not like a top team this year to start, but uh, I think Dayron, Dayron Sharp right, and Walker Kessler are just going to dominate in the paint. They're huge, 6'11 and 7'1". And then Garrison Brooks returning is huge. He was the – Probably the second man behind Cole Anthony last year, and he might take the step up to be that that the first guy and take the big shots. Yeah, he'll he'll probably have to for sure. Number four is that all you have? Yes. Yeah. Okay, number four. Sure. That's all. Number four, I have Illinois. What are they ranked? Seventh. I cannot tell you, but it's top ten. Uh, yeah. yeah, for sure. Nine. No, it, it, it's no, seven, no, eight, it's or eight. Nine. They're seven ranked, eight or nine. They're they're ranked eighth in the country. Oh, I think. Compromise. We'll go yeah. Eight, <laughs> in between. Illinois. I mean. They beat it. They beat a team. They scored 122 today. I mean, obviously that's good. That's they, they, have that's good. Of, <laughs> they have a lot of talent, but I'm just I'm not so sure about their team and the pieces that they have. So that's what that's what's keeping them at four. But I think they're a really dangerous team this year. 
Uh, and four, I have the Baylor Bears, another well-coached team. They're, actually, they're they're at two right now. I think that's, <laughs> that's what you kind I, of kind of. <laughs> I, I, con- I contradicted myself. Yeah, I, you did a little bit, but, but it's all right. I do it's think right. that I do think that ranking is a little high for Baylor, considering the team they were just. I mean, they were good, obviously good last year, but yeah. you know, too, they got experience, they got talent, and they got a great coach. I think they're a team to watch out for come March. At, at number three, I am going with Baylor. Baylor. Baylor Look, Bears. They were looking really good last year. I think they secured a number one seed in March March Madness, I think, but that doesn't matter this year. Anyway. Yes. <laughs> they got Throw it out the window. They they got Jared Butler and uh Teague. Matt what is it? Mash Mashi Mash Machio? Mac Machio? I cannot it's, tell you. Sure. It's all right. We'll go. Machio maybe? Yeah, that's Machio. Macho, I think that's right. Man. All right. Uh my three, I'm gonna please Matt with this, uh, is Kentucky. And, uh, little I mean, low. What? A little low. <laughs> a little low. Yeah. Oh, I mean, boy. they're 10th right now, so it's pretty high, actually. It's 7 high. I don't know why they're ranked 10th. They're... For a reason. It's their jobs to do I don't that, know. So. They're not very good um, at putting Baylor, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, okay. Well, <laughs> Kentucky is pretty much always a contender. They're pretty much always a uh, March Madness team, except for, of course, you know. Don't they're, talk they're about, down here. We don't talk, talk about, about that year. But, I mean, they're just, they have so much talent on that roster. They have five players in the top 50 uh prospects two in the top 10 and i just can't i mean they're just gonna score and they're gonna they're gonna i don't know dominate the core pretty much i would agree i would, <laughs> I would agree that's that's what's happening on the tv behind us well no, no it's, it's half time it, it's, 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 it's half in, it's in, a, in, our, in a recording studio in our, in our recording studio Number three, I have the 14th ranked Texas Tech Red Raiders. Yes, I like that. Tech. I, it's mm-hmm. they have a lot of returning players. Mm-hmm. They play hard. They play scrappy. They put up a fight against that Kentucky team last year. They were going to be pretty good, and <laughs> it's forgotten about because all this mess with everything that's happened this year. They added Mac McClung this year. He's pretty good. He's yeah. pretty good. He's gonna he's gonna help. Yeah. Bad. Was he? How did he do it? Where Georgetown. Did he go? Georgetown, how did he do over there? He was one of their best. He was all, he was off the bench, but he he wasn't bad being a freshman. Or yeah, a I think or I think this team they're a sleeper, especially coming into the tournament. There's a, that's a team if they get hot. That's I a, would, that, that is a team. I would not <laughs> I would not want to play that fine group of, <laughs> of people. Yeah. All right, back back to my original idea. Um, at number three, I have Arizona State. They're currently ranked at 18th in the nation. I think at the end of the day, their success comes from Marcus Bagley. And the Christopher brothers, obviously, is it is it Josh Christopher? He's a freshman. Yes. Yes, he just committed. He, he his top five was a lot of good teams. He went to Arizona State yeah. probably because of his brother, but he is definitely one of the top freshmen to watch out for, and in, uh, in this year's season, that's why I have him on my list. Tristan, who do you got two? At number two, I'm going Gonzaga, Gonzaga, whatever you want to say. They got Mark Few. He's one of the best coaches in college basketball right now. Yes. And. They got Joe Ayaye. It Ayaye, I think that's how you say it. He's, sure. He was looking Ay-ay-ay. really good. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, he's looking really, really good, and I think he's gonna carry this team. Blake, what do you got at two? Uh, two, I have Illinois. Uh, we pretty much already talked about. It, pretty much said everything I was gonna say. Yeah, with Kofi Cockburn. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Adam Miller and Ayo. We'll just call him Ayo, I guess. Yeah. They looked they looked really good in their season opener, both almost dropping thirty. Ao with the double double, and you know they obviously won by they 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 doubled the other team's score. So yeah, I mean, that's good offense. That's good offense. That's good <laughs> offense and defense. It's a it's a combo. Yes. Yes. But yeah, I have them too. Number two, I have the Villanova Wildcats. They're the Wildcats, right? Yes, they yeah, are. The Villanova Wildcats are. Are a you talent- not educated? Oh, just kidding, I was just I was just, I was just I was just making sure. No, Villanova, they have a talented roster with a lot of experience. Yeah. I think Jay yeah, Wright, who's who won Coach of the Decade, right? He's a good coach guy. Yeah, yeah, he won Coach of the Decade. Questionable I decision. I think I think Coach Cal should have won it, but <laughs> obviously. Oh, here really? we go. We won't, so we won't talk of, No, I they didn't. They, what about that one year, though? What? What about that one year? 2013? I'm sorry that Nerland's Noel tore his ACL and was out for the year. <laughs> one player, that's not he good. dunked over a well, guy. He he went first overall in the draft. And yeah, he, he went didn't first overall. Didn't play he was hurt. He was good. <laughs> he was hurt. No, he still went first in the draft. Back to it. Villanova's good. They're experienced. They're deep. And Jay yeah. Wright's really going to help them make a run this year. Even though they're ranked third, I think they're a sleeper. And number two, similar to what Blake said, I also have Illinois. I think their success comes from point guard Alan Miller. He's one of their best players, in my opinion. Their best player. I would agree. Their success starts with him. And it'll work its way down, obviously, to to to, to their center, Kofi Cockburn. <laughs> Kofi. Oh my. There's God. nothing funny about about, no. about it. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, just his name. What's his name? 
<laughs> Mr. Cockburn, if you want to, if you want to come on our show one day, we'd love to. You're have always you. welcome. We have a fire extinguisher. <laughs> <laughs> Just in one, two, one. Oh, All right. Man. As always, if you think we left any teams out, comment that down below. Or and no, it, no, just just your opinion. Opinion. It's an. This is an opinion. Well, we like opinion. Based. Okay. Okay. Opinions, well, they're all please. opinion based, technically. Yes. Guess, drop. But. Drop the comments. Oh yeah, like Louisville. Hey, Rob. Robbie Meadows. Who are you, who are you, who are you guys looking out for? Yeah. Who are you guys looking out for? At number one, it's kind of boring, but Villanova, like Matt I said, like that pick. their coach is. It's fine. He's really good. <laughs> coach coach of the decade. decade, and their team is just looking good, phenomenal, beautiful. Yeah. That's a good they're word. looking great. That's a good word. Who, who's the player to watch out for in that team? Colin Gillespie. Je- I don't know how to say it, his name. It, you know, it, these names Gillespie? are so, so hard. Gillespie, I don't know. Gillespie. Gillespie. You guys know who I'm talking about. Probably not, but. Like, Blake, uh, what do like you have at Castellanos. one? Yeah, <laughs> Castellanos. Throwback. <laughs> it's so funny. All right, Blake, what do you got Blake, number, what one? Do you uh, number one? Number uh, one, pretty boring. Even more boring, because it's uh, Gonzaga. Boring. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, they always have returning talent more than most people, most kind of, I mean, colleges in this country. And that's why they win. Yeah, that's why they win. They know experience and chemistry and all that. Uh, Kispert returning. Is it Kispert? I'm, yeah, I think it's Kispert, right? He's returning, yeah. and uh, he was a top player for them last year, and he's definitely going to help them out this year. And uh, Jalen Suggs is a top ten, possibly he's top good. five prospect. He's going to be good. And, uh, yeah, he's he's probably going to lead them to probably another one seed because, you know. They play St. Mary's. Yeah. Or, that's, well, they, they have a hard specific, schedule. That's all right. They have a hard schedule this year. Yeah, St. Mary's actually. First games against Kansas. So. Yeah, no, they have a hard schedule playing Press Virginia. Yes, yes. Co- coached by Bob Huggins. Yes, coached by Bob Huggins. <laughs> Matt, uh, number what do you got one, one, this is going to be a big surprise. Hot take. It is the Kentucky Wildcats. What? They are the number one team to look out for this year. They're mm. freshmen. They're inexperienced. They're going to they're gonna lose some games <laughs> well, early. You just, no. you just said they're, they're gonna, number one, and then you just no. put it out on the weaknesses. No, they're going to lose some games early in the season, but come tournament time. Tweak. That's where the tweak yeah, comes in. Come tournament time, yes. the Kentucky Wildcats will be a premier <laughs> basketball team. And not not one team in Division One, Division Two, obviously. We'll wanna we'll wanna play the Kentucky Wildcats. We are going to roll to the national championships. Roll. Twenty five and two regular season record. Twenty five and two. Yeah. Wow. You're only playing twenty seven games. Yeah, they only play oh, twenty seven games. Count it count it down twenty if it's twenty seven games. Twenty five and two. Two losses. Two losses. That's what you're saying. What's your number one, Josh? You got a little excited. Yeah, you, you had some. High, if you didn't know, he Matt, is dressed I, in I, all UK. I have to. Right. I have yeah. to yeah. point out, Matt. You claim that no D1 team is going to play them, and then he went down, went on to say no D2 team is going to want to play them. Why would a D2 team want to play Kentucky? I, I don't hey, know. Get their get name, their out, name there. out there. Yeah, yeah, get their name. It's free money. I mean, that Kentucky is, will play that those, is, that is teams free to play them. money. Actually, I'm going to go back. I don't I don't want to jinx them and say they'll only lose two games. They'll lose four. They'll lose four. <laughs> Double that. He thought about it. Double yeah. the count. They'll go 23 All right. four. My number one team, it's in the hands of one man, Iowa. And, of course, that man is Luca Garza. I My think, man. He's a I think Louis, Louis Garza. I, I, I think Louis Garza is going to be the player of the year. I mean, I guess you could say I would agree. I, would agree. I guess you could call agree, it a hot yeah. take, but I guess you really no. can't. No, he was no, not. You could say it's, it's a take. No, it's this big. early in the year, you could always say anyone's It's a room true. temperature take. Yeah, there yeah. you go. <laughs> lukewarm. Lukewarm. It's a lukewarm. It's a lukewarm. Lukewarm. Thing. Ah. lukewarm. Louis Warm. Luka, lukewarm. I think he'll be a top draft pick in next year's draft. I think he's going to lead this Iowa team to a lot of success in this year's NCAA tournament. All like right. That. that wraps up Let's Rank It. And after the break, Josh will take over with podcast predictions. Alrighty, welcome to Podcast Predictions today. Going to get straight in, straight into it. We're going to be predicting some uh, some Week 12 matchups in the NFL. We're going to start out with the uh, the second game on, on Thanksgiving night. We have the Washington football game at the Dallas Cowboys. This might not seem like a very, you know, popular game, but it does have a huge impact. And, Every uh, game in that game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. You shut Chill. up. The mic just... Chill. What did, Matt, what did you, you do to brother? you? What did you do to you? Matt just got a little excited there when he no, I, the was reach, I was reaching for the pencil, and I, uh, <laughs> I backhanded my mic. Mm. Okay. Game Anyways, games. yeah, this game has huge implications on this division, and I think the football team wins this game really? on the road. Yes, I think they carry that momentum after beating that very good Cincinnati Bengals <laughs> team. And Ryan Finley. Yes, the, one of the best quarterbacks in, in the league. Uh, the? Yeah, the, probably 
Probably the best quarterback. Mr. Finley, we would love an interview. Please just <laughs> oh, gosh. DM, DM one of our social medias, preferably our Twitter, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Yes. With an interview. Or comment Date down below. Time. Yeah, That'd be sweet. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I, think, I, I, I think the football team wins this game, yeah. and I think they win it by, uh, I'm going to say seven. That's not a bad take. I'm going to pick Thanks. the Dallas Cowboys <laughs> here. I, uh, I preferably like Andy Dalton in this situation, even though his, you could say it's sort of prime time, his, his bad prime time record. I think he's going to turn it around with Zeke. Is Zeke even still playing? Yes. Yeah, what are you talking about? He is, uh, he, I, he's I, still only. He's only he's, he's no, in like he his third year. So. I, no, I thought he was like hurt or something. No, he's no. like his he fifth hasn't year. been hurt yet. I think year. I think Dallas Cowboys. No, it's gonna be it's gonna be a really close game. Obviously, it's gonna be like seventeen to fourteen or something. Really, just terrible football. But I think the Dallas Cowboys will prevail on Thanksgiving, like they always do. Oh shoot! Never mind. They got blown out last year. <laughs> yeah, I I about that. <laughs> All right, Blake. I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with you, Matt. I think the uh, I think the Cowboys are are taking this game. Uh, they're playing. They're finally playing some okay football again, and uh, I think they'll carry it into this game and beat a not very good Washington football team. None of those teams in that yeah, division. They're all, are they're all they're all so, bad. but no I, th I think the Dallas Cowboys will put themselves in the conversation to win that division and with a win on Thanksgiving. Hmm. I, I'm I'm going either way here. I mean, we'll pick one. <laughs> I, I will. I, I'll go Cowboys here. Cowboys. Thank you. Just because Mr. Paul Furtado is a big fan of them. That's yes. the only reason why. I can. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> Alrighty, next game. Another game with huge implications on the division, the AFC South matchup with the uh, the Titans and the Colts. Titans at the Colts, and I think the Colts they stay hot, and I think they do. What? No, that's, uh, I, it's nothing. Okay, I I think the Colts stay hot because they you know they are hot they're on fire and I think the Colts do win this game. I'm gonna have to agree with you here. I think the Colts they're gonna they're gonna run away with it obviously because they're gonna win. <laughs> Philip Rivers gonna have himself a day. Uncle Phil, as some people say, the best quarterback in the league. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, you know who you are. If I can do a score prediction, I hope it'd be uh, like. 42-35 Colts with Derrick Henry scoring five <laughs> touchdowns. For fantasy reasons, I think the Colts are going to pull this one out. Uh, I'm going to disagree. I think the Titans are going to win this game. Uh, coming off a big overtime win over the Ravens. Uh, Derek I mean, Henry the, the Colts is, had a big overtime win against the Packers. Well, yeah. yeah that's, well, that's a bigger overtime uh, That is a big overtime win, I think. Well, you say, I don't think it's bigger. I would say so. I, I think Why? What do you mean? I mean, I think it's I would say is. the Packers and Ravens are comparable. Okay. Okay, well, hmm. I did, don't don't. The point is not for you to <laughs> okay. debunk my reasoning. Yes. All right. Sorry. Anyways, it is your opinion. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Well, I have the Titans. I think Derrick Henry's playing some of the best football he's played, and I, I think he'll. Even though the Colts have a very good defense and a re very good run defense, uh, I think Derrick Henry will overpower them and have a big day. Let's hope. I'm gonna go with the <laughs> Col <laughs> I'm gonna go with the Colts here. They're looking pretty solid. Their defense is really good. So I don't I don't I don't think he Derrick Henry is gonna do. Too much. He'll do a little damage, but not too much. Matt, Matt's scared right now. Yeah, Matt, my, oh, Matt has got him a big on the fantasy, fantasy team. My team. fantasy team is limping to the finish line. <laughs> we're we're struggling. We're really struggling. I'm not gonna get last though, so I'm happy about yes, that. That's it, always it's good. Fun. It's good. Yeah, I'm. It's good. I'm. I'm really. My team's struggling. Right Alrighty, now. moving on to our next game. We have the Chiefs at the Buccaneers. I think this is a. I wouldn't say easy win, but I think this is the game that the Chiefs. You know, they uh they they win by a reasonable amount here. I think yeah. that offense is. Is uh, you know obviously really high powered, and I think they win this game by double digits. I'm gonna have to agree with you here. I think uh, I think Tom Brady he hasn't been that good recently, and I think the Chiefs are just gonna outscore him. Yeah, that's how, how you win. Which is how it works. <laughs> that's how you win. Say. Let's see. But it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a shootout, and I think Chiefs win by two scores. I think this really solidifies the Chiefs as a. I think they're solidified. Well, as a like a real big contender for the Steelers, because right now everyone just sees the Steelers as crazy, and I think the Chiefs will beat them. All right. Well, I'm gonna agree. I definitely think the Chiefs are winning this game. Buccaneers are playing the worst football they've played two weeks and three or two losses in three weeks. Um, and uh, I, the Chiefs, have the best offense in the NFL probably, and probably one of the best teams, if not the best team in the NFL. And uh, I don't think this, uh, the Buccaneers are gonna get in the way of them trying to win another Super Bowl. I'm also going Chiefs here. Patrick Mahomes is looking really good as always. I think he's going to win the MVP again this year. And, yeah, they're just going to roll and outscore him. They're going to roll and outscore him. I like, I like that. that. <laughs> I like that. All right. Once again, outscoring people is how you win. <laughs> yes, that, that's the name of the game. Hmm. I don't know. It's just 
Are the Packers and oh. Bears, that, that's NFC North, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. NFC North. All right, we got a NFC North matchup. I kind of just gave it to you guys. Uh, Bears and Packers. Bears at the Packers. I think the Packers win this game, and I think they win this game by a lot. Bears started out really hot, and now yeah, they're just they nuke. did. Now they are falling off the map. And Packers, you know, the, I, I would expect a, a bounce-back game from Mr. Rodgers, even though he did play really well against the Colts. I think he's going to have a big day on Sunday, and I think uh, Packers win this game by a lot. I'm going to have to agree with you. I think the Packers win by a considerable amount two maybe three scores i think the packers defense may give up a few touchdowns to hopefully alan robinson the second but <laughs> <laughs> i think the packers roll with this one is as it the second it's the second or third i think he's the third because then if he was the second he'd just be junior oh, i don't know whatever it's fine yeah he is the third all that matters is if he scores and he's <laughs> three I don't touchdowns know. <laughs> just like... i guess i guess it doesn't really matter mr rogers he's looking good this year yes, blake mr. what do you have here uh, I also have the Packers, uh, one of the top teams in the NFC. And uh, the Bears definitely fluked to start the season. Uh, they are not as good as they, they looked like they were. And it's hard to win games when you have, neither one of your quarterback is good at all. And uh, yeah. yeah. So I think the Packers win this by a lot. I think the Packers are going to win, but the Bears will make it a close one. And then Aaron Rodgers, he's always going to go down and win the game for him. In the last couple seconds, so I got Packers. And finally, our last matchup we have, we have the Steelers and the Ravens. This was scheduled for Thanksgiving night, but it's a shame. It is a shame that yeah. that to be canceled because that would have been a very fun game to watch with family members uh, Thursday night. It but would. regardless, I have the Steelers in this game. I think they continue to roll. I think they continue to win. And this is seriously a conversation where they 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 could possibly go sixteen and zero here. Yeah, I I'm gonna I have think to they agree will. with you here. Much to my chagrin, obviously, I think the Steelers That's are going to win this. It? Yeah, it's a, it's it's it's, it's high level word. high level vocabulary. I think Lamar Jackson, he's been proved as a not a very good quarterback, but he's he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna put up a fight like he did last time against Steelers. But Steel Curtain gonna pull it out. Steelers win. Yeah, I'm gonna agree. The uh, Steelers are gonna pr- improve to 11 and 0, and. Uh, the Ravens, you know, not playing as good as they should or as people expected them to at this at this point. And uh, their back their backfield is hurting bad. You know, they're down uh, Mark Ingram and J.K. Dobbins just tested positive. They got so Gus Edwards. They got Gus Edwards <laughs> uh, controlling that backfield right now, and they have no receiving. I don't blame Lamar Jackson for this down year. They have, their receiving core is horrible. Marquise Brown yeah. is not good. I it's just. But that team is just not looking good, and I definitely see the Steelers winning this game. I'm also going Steelers here. Queen, queen sweep? Yes. They're just going to keep rolling and not make any that many mistakes, and if they win this game, I think they'll be 16-0. All righty, that's going to wrap up podcast predictions. I'm now going to give the floor to Blake for Guess That Player, one of my favorite segments. It's one of my favorite. Right. Even though I, don't I bet play, it is but yours, I don't Josh. play, but I, I, love, I love doing it. And uh, today we're going to do something a little different. We're doing college sports. So we're going to do college football and college basketball because they're the two happening right now. Right. Yes. And uh, all right, so I'm going to give you the sport, obviously, it'd be a little hard, and uh, the conference. So we're going to kick it off with football. And this per- this player plays in the American Athletic Conference. Desmond Ritter. It is Desmond Ritter. Oh, my God. Oh my it starts gosh. easy. It's got to start easy. Wow, that was challenging. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't wow. Even like I just realized. <laughs> Never mind. 1 0 0. What? No, nothing. 1 0 0. This isn't going to be fun. Is. All right, continue, Blake. Next player. What? You, you don't said know who... you're a UC bandwagon. You yeah, I'm a bandwagon. A I don't know who the players are. <laughs> He's a quarterback. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just care if they win or not. Okay. That's why I'm a bandwagon. Right. There you go. That was quick. All right, now we're going to bounce over to basketball. See what I did there? Bounce. Like, oh, nice. No, I didn't mean to do that. But nice. I, did, I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> nice. I didn't mean to do it. But, uh, yeah, so this uh, he plays in the SEC. So it's a little more challenging. There's a lot more players in the SEC. In the SEC yeah. basketball. Yeah. Players. Good teams and players. SEC players. basketball player. Yes. All right, is he, on that, is he in the SEC West? Yes, they are the SEC West. SEC West, <laughs> huh? Are. Does he play for Texas A&M? No. Mississippi I State. No. I don't know. I don't even, I don't even know any. I don't know what players. teams are on which sides. So Ole Miss. I might just. No. Is, Alabama. No. Is he on LSU? Yes. Sure. Oh. Sha- is it Shaq's son? 
No. Uh, <laughs> ben Simmons played on LSU. <laughs> I didn't yes. Yes. He, hey, he yeah, did. Hey, he did. I don't know. Yeah, I, can, can, I, I don't know any LSU players. So he's on LSU? Yeah. I can't, I is can't he, get is this he a freshman? one. Do you, any. do you have any idea if he's a freshman or not? I assume he's a freshman because most of them are. To be honest with you, Blake, I have no idea. Neither do I. Shoot, I don't know any LSU guard. players. Uh, what's yeah, his, what's his name start with? <laughs> yeah. C. 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 Cameron. Cam. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Is it? Yeah. It's Cameron? But it's not Cameron. It's Cam. Cam, Cam. Cam Akers. Oh. Cam Reddish. I'm just kidding. He played for Duke. Oh, you guys, I don't think you guys are going to get it if I just gave you him his first name. Uh, I don't yeah, know. It's Cam Thomas. Don't know. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. <laughs> Me Sorry, Blake. Because he's an LSU <laughs> basketball <laughs> player. All right, that's fine. All All right. Right. He's still 1-0-0. Still zero zero. Yeah, right. It may end 1-0-0. No, I don't think so. No. All right, now we're going to go back over to football. Two and uh, okay. we're going to go to the big... Toss it. Toss it over. Yeah, toss it over to football. We're going to go to the Big Ten. Yes. Big Ten. This is a little bit harder also because there's some good players in the Big Ten. Indiana. No. Ohio State. No, no. Wisconsin. Michigan. No, no. Penn State. No. Minnesota. Oh, jeez. No. Minnesota. <laughs> Iowa. Nebraska. No, no. Northwestern. No. What? Illinois. No. Rutgers. No. Probably. Are there any other Big Ten teams? <laughs> yeah. How many Mar- we name? Maryland. No. It's not Toledo. Tunga. It's not Tunga. Was... Tunga below. Did you say Toledo? <laughs> <laughs> it's Purdue. Toledo in the Big Ten. Purdue. Yeah. Purdue. Rondell Moore. Oh, it is I was going to say that. Boom hey. sauce. Because <laughs> he, he went to, like, St. X, right? Trinity. Trinity. Oh. Yeah. He played against yeah. 10 of Rondell yeah. Moore. He, he nice. has that team. He has that team. Smoked. Nice. Yeah. All right, now we're going wow. to bounce. We're going to bounce back over to basketball. Is, it, is, this our, is this our final player? Yeah, this is our oh, final player. Oh, that sucks. Wow. So that sucks. we'll make this right, worth Matt, three let's points. Let's go. We'll make this worth three points. Oh, we'll for the win. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, basketball, Pac-12. Lonzo Ball. <laughs> UCLA? UCLA? No. Josh no. Christopher. Dang it. It is Josh Christopher. Oh, my God. I, I hated when you said Boom that earlier. Sauce. I'm like, he now, now he's going to be on his mind. That's domination Boom at its sauce. finest, folks. Boom sauce. It's like, just like most times. 5-0-3. Yeah. Three, no, three, it's not. It's, three questions. It's not worth three points when Josh gets it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's Josh, Josh is worth one. We, okay. still, we still got skunked anyways. So yeah, it's, <laughs> so it's, it, it, was, it was whatever Josh got to zero. Yeah. All right. So that ends Guess the Player and... Wow, that was fun, Blake. Yeah, yeah, was sure was. Can't yeah. okay, wait for next time. <laughs> I enjoyed the show. I, enjoy, I love this segment. I enjoy it. I when, love this segment. I enjoy it when Josh does it. I like when I like when I literally just give the conference and sport and, and Josh he knows just it immediately. It yeah, that's just. Well, so I mean, who players. else was it gonna be? I, I just, now that I think about it, who Johnny else? Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball. Johnny Juzang. <laughs> He, so wanted to be, he wanted to be close to He's home. So yeah, he went bad. to Mick Cronin's UCLA. Oh boy, they are abysmal. I wish we played them this year. Oh, wait, we do. We do play okay. UCLA. Yeah. All right. All right on. Oh! Oh! Let's hear it. Well, as, actually, as Blake said, he yeah, could do I'm a better, he could my, do a better holding... joke than me, so he's going to do no, it. No, I didn't Let's say it. that. No, I yes, just said, hey, hey, let's no, hear the joke, I Blake. trash-talked yours, and you said, why don't you do it next time? And I said, I will. Blake, let's hear the, right. the joke. Matt, okay. get the calculator out? I got I it. have the calculator out. Right. You want it? You got I, it. I'll take it. Let's hear it. All right. If at first you don't succeed... Then skydiving is probably not the sport for you. That's the joke. Yeah, you get it. Yeah, because you, you die. You'd be dead. You'd be dead. <laughs> say, say, say it again. Say it again. Say it if again. at first you don't succeed, then skydiving probably isn't the sport for you. <laughs> it's not. Because if you fail at skydiving, yeah, you you're dead. It's clever. There's no timing involved because it's not like a question. No, it's uh, you know. I thought I was gonna have to do something with the try. try I will again, say. But- I it was better than Matt's last one. My last one was the worst one. 5.4. That's all right. That's all right. I wasn't expecting to do well. I'll give you 5.9. 5.9. That's my height. <laughs> my, minus yeah, one. Minus, minus an inch. Nice. Minus an inch. <laughs> nice. Minus an inch. <laughs> nice. Matt, what Matt, are you giving it? It's not that serious. It's not that deep. 4.8. That's my real height. 16.1. Hey, hey you know what? that's pretty good for that's your first like joke. Good, yeah, good job, Blake. Well done. Was was it wasn't wasn't funny, but it was clever. So, yeah, the delivery was not too bad. It's it's hard to do, have. Yeah, because it, it wasn't a question. It, it's it's a straight to the buck kind yeah, of joke. Yeah, it wasn't a question. All right, and we're gonna go to a break, and then we're gonna hand it over to Josh. Welcome back to the fourth inning podcast. And before I give the floor to Matt, on this stand sports, November 26th, 
1968. We're going back. Oh, OJ back Simpson. My man. Is awarded the 34th Heisman Trophy. Congrats, OJ. Congrats, OJ. Congrats, OJ. <laughs> the, juice is, the, the juice is loose, right? <laughs> My man. Hey, OJ, if you're listening, we would love to have you on the show. We have, Sports podcast. We have oh, yeah. a Sports nice, podcast. we have, we have a nice, cozy pair of gloves that'll fit. <laughs> they'll fit. <laughs> they, they'll, the, the gloves, if you, the gloves will fit. If you know, you know. If you know, if you, you know, know, you know. You know. With that, I'm gonna with that. kinda, kinda go into a new segment. Kind of not. It's not. It, it's what is it's, it? it's new, but it's we're not combining. New. We, we, we're, you know we're, what it is. You know it. If it's, you if you've been a loyal uh, member of our podcast family since like two weeks ago, <laughs> yeah, you, knew, you will know outside the box. We are gonna make this into a segment. We are gonna turn our Douglas's hot take into more of a segment than a daily or yeah a weekly episode thing. Yeah. And this outside the box, since this is going to be posted on Thanksgiving Day, it will be top five Thanksgiving foods. Yum. I'm gonna I'm gonna start it I out. I love Thanksgiving. I'm gonna start it out <laughs> number five. Bit of a hot take. I'm going turkey. Yeah, that's that's a bit it's, it's that's that's it's that gives a, me sugar. It's, it's it gives you know, me sugar. <laughs> actually, Matt, I also have turkey at five. I think huh. turkey is overrated. Uh, I think me and. No. You, I, I'm gonna have to. I think turkey. It's just there's a clear split. It's dry. Yeah, there's, there's think, already. A I clear think it's just split. dry. It's a clear turkey, line. Yeah, there, turkey is dry. <laughs> it's just yes. well, it not, is. Not, a piece not if it's it juicy. You, you gotta, gotta get the juicy right. turkey. You gotta make it right. It's do gotta be crispy. It? On it's gotta it? have crispy skin. Yeah. And I don't make it, but hopefully the person <laughs> making it for me makes it. You gotta make it juicy. I'll complain. I've never had a really good turkey. Obviously, my loving and caring family. I still like the turkey. But it's just, it's not as you're high as some this, other Doug, foods. you gotta stuff up your game. You gotta <laughs> stuff up your turkey game. With the, hey, co- with the Costco it, turkey. It, it's at five. It's not like it's, yeah, it's not ranked. Well, yeah, there's not that many There foods. are millions of Thanksgiving dishes. Oh, yeah, this that's, makes that's, five. Yeah. Josh, oh, well, Josh already said it. It's Tristan. Yeah, jo- What's your five? At number five, I'm going pumpkin pie. Ooh, that's low too. Another love, staple. Love a good dessert. I, I, like, it's either I really want it or I don't want it at all. Yeah, it's, I, I get that. Yeah. I get that. With whipped cream? What do you have? There's a big, there's a big drop off between good and bad pumpkin pie. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, yeah. Uh, five. I have ham, the other Thanksgiving meat. Mm, man, mm. ham. That's higher for me. I yeah. I I, mm. I I like ham, but it's it's. I don't think of ham when I think of Thanksgiving. No. So it's got to rank per, a little bit lower for yeah, me. It goes. It, 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 it goes. It goes ham and ham with turkey. You should not think. <laughs> was, you should not think. You should taste. <laughs> That's what you shouldn't think about it. You should taste it. That's well, what I, I taste with right. my mind. Okay, what? Matt. What do you have? Everybody for? does. Number four, I, a bit a bit of a bland take. I have rolls, just Thanksgiving <laughs> rolls, yeast, yeast rolls. rolls. You got a certain kind? Yeast rolls, <laughs> rolls. That my that my mom and sister make. Like just whole- fantastic. Rolls. Not good for me, but very very tasty. I I have them higher than turkey. Blake, not not good Blake. for you, but good for yeah, you. Yeah, not good for you, but good for you. Yes. Josh, what's your four? At four, I have apple pie slash pumpkin Ooh, pie. pie. Can't go wrong with either pie. Especially with whipped cream, yeah. Whipped cream really makes it uh, oh, go from yeah. a go from an eight to about a nine point three. I'd say. <laughs> nine point three. Because <laughs> if it was a ten, to be at number one, but it's only a nine point three. Yeah. So you get you get my point. I do. Apple pie, pumpkin pie, always great to have on Thanksgiving. At number four, I'm going with cornbread. 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 I cornbread. love a good cornbread mm-hmm. with some mm. butter. Mm. Delicious. Yes. Blake, where you got four? At four, I have pecan or pecan pie, whatever you want to say. Uh, it's a little bit. It's a different kind of pie because there's no. Yes, yes, it is. It's not encased like pumpkin pie, but uh, is it is it pecan or pecan pie? I say pecan, but I don't I care. Don't I don't really. Or you could say pecan. I say, I say pecan. Pecan. Or I, I don't pecan know. pie. I, usually, I don't. I usually don't pecan eat pie. pie, so pecan I don't know. Pecan. Pecan. Say pecan. pecan. <laughs> yeah, well, I I do. So for uh, <laughs> do you now. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I have pecan pie. What are we on now? Number three. Number three. <laughs> yeah. It's your segment. Hopefully. Yeah, <laughs> I have mac and cheese. Mac- Obviously, Ooh, mac, and- ob- mac, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. There was. <laughs> no, I won't. I won't tell. Mac I won't. I won't. <laughs> mac and cheese. Uh, no, it's, it's mac Kraft? and cheese. Mac and cheese. Yeah, Matt. Right Craft. Craft mac and cheese? Not no, for it's Thanksgiving. It's got to be homemade. homemade. Regular <laughs> mac and it's cheese, baked. just like it's the, gotta the, be the blue box. Yeah. The blue box mac and cheese is good. But on Thanksgiving, crock yeah. pot mac yes. and cheese. You better be getting the good exactly the good stuff. With the, layer, with the top layer, with the top layer coated with yes! that kind of hard cheese, yes! and then yes! the bottom, and yes! the bottom with yes! that soft, yes, that's, that's baked, mm-hmm. that's baked, that's baked, that's good. baked mac and cheese. We mm-hmm. we love every kind of mac and cheese. It is a Thanksgiving <laughs> staple. Yeah, we I like love our it. mac and Boy, cheese. Boy, I'm getting hungry thinking about it right now. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, we'll move on. What's your number three? I'm out of the water. And <laughs> number three, I have mashed potatoes. But, but if it, like, I mean, everything's a classic, I guess you could say. So it's not really a classic. I would say it's a classic. It is. But it, it, is, it, a but classic. it is a classic at I the do same think time. Have, I do think of Wait, mashed potatoes. Wait, with gravy or without yes, gravy? Yes, with gravy. With gravy. That's the only right way. Yeah. It's Good. a phenomenal Good. side. It will, only on Thanksgiving. With gravy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, you don't really bust out the the gravy every yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> on a yeah, weekend in it's, September. It's, it's a yeah. prestigious we thing. Oh, you, yeah. yeah, we do. You really? Yeah. You don't you don't oh. waste your gravy. You got to save it up for <laughs> Thanksgiving. Yeah. One time a year. Yeah, it's, it's a could, big deal. I could drink gravy, man. <laughs> no. I really could. Just straight up. Could you drink gravy? <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. That's my number three. Tristan, what's your number three? My number three, corn. I got another corn, corn. on there. On the cob or not? It doesn't. I prefer on the cob, but for on Thanksgiving, the, like on the it's the not, is not, not good Thanksgiving. For, it's not no, good it's, for No, I don't think it, it... I don't think it's very Thanksgiving. Originally, originally in the 1600s, they did corn yeah. on off the, the Off the cob. Yeah. Wait, right, what do you got? Three, I have, I'm going to agree with Matt. I have mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. And the, the same way. It's the only good way when it has the, the, cheese, the cheese on top. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. You, know, you never have enough cheese with your mac and cheese. No, you can't. Never going wrong with mac and cheese. Number two... I will have mashed potatoes, another side dish. I know, Blake. Really, really, mashed potatoes. Sometimes, sometimes in regular life, it's too bland. But no, Thanksgiving, it's Thanksgiving is not regular life. It's gravy. I love gravy. Brown, yes. brown gravy. I, brown gravy, yes. White gravy is another, gravy. another good gravy that my uncle makes oh, God. Is, uh, is some sausage he, gravy. Maybe he's too focused no. on his gravy. Sausage gravy. gravy. I have it. Was this Jerome? No. Maybe he's too focused on his no. gravy game. Sausage, gravy, and his, biscuits uh, for breakfast. I have, I have the focus more on for a turkey Christ- game. For Christmas, we have some... Uh, for Christmas, we have some hey, sausage, Hey, another gravy. episode. Another episode. I'm just saying. It's the best thing okay. I've ever okay. in my life. Biscuits and gravy, it. sausage, yeah. and... Okay. Oh, that, yeah. That's a little off topic. Right. Mashed potatoes, we'll number two, obviously with gravy. My number two, ham. Um, ham. Was this on you guys? Blake, Tristan? Ham. No, I don't have... You had it five, right? Wow. Yeah, if ham, I, if not on the list, is a hot take. I, That's, yeah. I think of Christmas when I think of Ham yes. is better than hot, with the, better than turkey, and I will always, mm-hmm. always In, say it that. It depends. Mm-hmm. It depends. No, it doesn't. It doesn't, it's just yes, it does. yes, it it doesn't depend. It's just facts. No. Yeah. They're, they're right opinions and they're wrong opinions. And that's a wrong and opinion. That is a wrong, and I don't respect wrong opinions. <laughs> Matt, that, you I should have done a hot take saying ham is better than turkey. That's not a hot take. It's a fact. It's a yeah, fact. It's a fact. sandwich no. is ham better no. than turkeys. No. Also. Well, not deli. Actually, yes, deli. I love ham. I love All right. ham I'll continue. We'll continue. Ham, ham at two. And number two, I'm going mashed potatoes and gravy. Yes. Do it. Mm-hmm. We've gone over it a couple times. Brown yeah. gravy. Just, you guys get the you point. Guys, good, you guys, you know the point. Good, good Blake, what do you got to do? Love mashed potatoes. Two, I have pumpkin pie. I have two pies mm-hmm. on my list. But I have pumpkin pie. Whipped cream or uh, no? It has to have whipped cream. Good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, yeah, homemade pumpkin pie. There's almost Ooh. nothing better. And uh, it's a good compliment to your meal afterwards. <laughs> Hopefully, you never eat your dessert first. Never, never, ever. It's a sin. It's a cardinal sin, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. All right, yeah, that's my number two. Matt, you got a I'm one. Just, I'm just wondering, do any of you, when you get the whipped cream bowl, just get a spoon and just yes. take it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Always got to do it. Always <laughs> got to do it. Come on. Give me, give me. Number one, you may expect because of my turkey banter and my support of Josh's Boo. pick of number two. I have ham, Boo. and I don't care. I don't care who hears it. Yes. I, I have ham. Yes. <laughs> It is so no! <laughs> don't don't write it now. No, but ham. Hey! <laughs> no, ham, ham. It's just juicy, all purpose. It is the staple of Christmas and Thanksgiving. Just the one, one, one of the premier meats you can have. No, it's poultry, is it? It's yes. meat. Uh, it's, I mean, meat I don't know what poultry. you're trying to say. I couldn't tell you. It's yeah, meat. no, it's just it's, it's good. Meat. That's it's all meat. I know. Meat. It's, it's good. good. I will. Ham will never be beat. Never ever. No, ever, it ever, won't. Ever ever. Except Ever. by, except yes, by mac will. and cheese, because I have mac and cheese at one. So ham will be beat, but ne- never never by turkey. Mac and cheese, mac and cheese. Never by turkey. Ham is always superior than turkey. But number one, as I as I just said, mac and cheese, mm-hmm. great side dish. You, I mean, I can have mac and cheese any day, I guess, of the year. Yeah. yeah. You, oh we, well, yeah. But you, sure. but you can't have that Thanksgiving. Mac. No, no, you not can't. The it, it, one day a year. It's diffy. It's diffy. It is. It is. Maybe diffy. twice a year. They do some, some people have for Christmas. Christmas. Maybe uh, what else is there? Every Easter. Holiday. Easter. Oh, Easter. Yes. Yeah. So maybe, maybe three times a year. Fourth of July. Take, may bust out that mac and cheese. Yeah. Fourth of July. Usually doesn't have the cheese on top. Fourth of July. Christmas Easter. Give her, give or take a few birthdays, few anniversaries, stuff like that. But, you know, mac and cheese, elite side dish, great dish. That's why I have it at number one. Oh, yeah, yeah, number one, I'm going turkey. 
When you think of Chris, uh, Christmas, gosh. When you think, when of, I Thanksgiving, think of Thanksgiving, I think of turkey. turkey and Turkey Day, and then I think yes. of my family. But I think of Turkey first. I'm not a not a big really? like. I like no. I like ham, but it was not good enough to make the ham, list. Ham Sorry, Matt and Christmas. Josh. Turkey, but ham, turkey, turkey always... over family, hot take. I, was, I literally just told you I was kidding. <laughs> but uh, hear me out. It's got. It can't be dry. It's got to be nice and juicy. Yeah, if it's not made right, then, then and if it's, it's if it's a little turkey, dry, I'll have you come over to the to the to my family. Have some good yes. turkey. Will it be as fun as the Fourth of July was? <laughs> no. Yeah, that was. If <laughs> if it's a little dry, you can put a little <laughs> bit of burgers. gravy on it and make it more. Juicy. It's just I, it's it's at number one because of how iconic it is. Really, yes. you can't go wrong with any Thanksgiving food. You Except really for stuffing. We hate stuffing. Oh, we, we hate, hate stuffing. stuffing. Get we hate stuffing it. out of here. If you like here. stuffing, get it out please of here. still listen to our show, but we just don't like it. Yeah, we respect your opinion, but it's it's just but stuffing. It's no. Yes. And with that, that will wrap up the 18th episode of the 4th Inning Podcast. We hope you liked this week's episode, and we hope you like, subscribe, comment, follow all of our social medias, do all that. Have a safe and fun Thanksgiving from the 4th Inning Podcast. We are thankful for all of you. We love all of you. And remember to get 4% better every day. See See ya! ya!